What's up? It's me, Devin, uh, your favorite urban gardener, also known as Plant Vibes. Anyways, I'm here uh, showcasing some Seneseo. And the reason I'm showcasing this beautiful plant is because right now, this is, you know, the middle of August. The sun is blaring down. This is a, a pretty hot day for us here out in Seattle. And um, this, I, I don't see any sort of sprinkler systems back here, but yet this plant is doing just fine. Now the reason that the Seneseo and other silver foliage plants can handle being under the hot intense sun is that their silver foliage acts as a reflector. It takes the sun and then pushes it back out. And what that means is that it doesn't need as much water in order to process that sun's energy, AKA photosynthesis. So it may be a little slower to grow because it's not photosynthesizing as much as a purely uh, rich green foliage plant, but instead what it is able to do is live in these really hot, sunny, dry, uh, you know, droughty conditions and still look fantastic. Now Seneseo is one of my absolute favorite silver leafed foliage plant, um, but some other ones are particular varieties of lavender that have that extra sheeny silvery foliage, great for the droughty areas, the hot sunny uh, summer sun. Um, Santalina is a, a, another great one. Um, you know, uh, olive trees, they have a really nice silvery foliage. If you have the space, an olive tree is fantastic. Um, so if you're thinking about trying to fill in some of those really hot, sunny, rocky, poor soil areas that you really cannot seem to water enough to make your plants happy, start thinking about adding some silver foliage plants to those areas and I think you'll find that they're quite suitable for the for those uh, particular spots in the garden um, anyways this is me with a little Seneseo uh, having a great day basking in the sunshine